the reason we live is to find the creator, the divine within. We are the caretakers of the planet, and we have this life to find the divine within, which is there, right here, in our soul. Hey, my name is John Anderson. I sing with the band called oh, Yes. Take a straight and stronger course to the corner of your life. Woo. Make the white queen run so fast She hasn't got time to make you a wife That's one of the songs we're famous for. I didn't start playing guitar till pretty late. I think I was 23. And this is one of the first things I ever did. This is E, the key of E. And I just, just slid the guitar phrase up there. And a song came out which became very famous for Yes. Flying high above Shine your wings Warmer to the sun In the 60s, early 60s, I was with a group with my brother called the Warriors and uh, we wanted to be Beatles. That's all we wanted to be. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah I do it out of a reggae song, see? Because I went to Jamaica in uh, 71 and saw Bob Marley, and reggae was seriously good. I actually do it on stage with a Yes song, which is, uh, Yes song is, um, There's a time, and the time is now, and it's right for me. It's right for me, and the time is now. At the end, I sing, she loves you, yeah, yeah. And when Yes started, we had perfect energy within us. It was just the band in harmony, connected. In the early days of Yes, we were singing about don't kill the whale. It was only a statement that don't kill everything around us. Don't destroy this world because we have to live on it, you know, to be, be a gardener or, you know, nurture the world. When I would go to, to the group with a song, I'd play my guitar, which is very simple, simple ideas. Which was a song called And You and I. Man conceived the moments, answers to the dream. Very simple idea, you know. People would come to our tours and, and tell us that, you know, your music's changed our lives, you know. that over the years that you've, you've been a part of so many people's uh, everyday life. Music is a very powerful energy. I'll be the round about the words will make you out and out. These days, I still do open guitar part ideas. This is a song. This was the last album Yes did. Standing here on sacred ground. Some days it's a sad world, let it be. So I think the simpler the idea of the chords, the easier it is to write a melody. Once you get into very complicated chord sequences, but with Yes, you know, I was able to do complicated chord sequences with Steve, because he's very good at it. So I'd say, Steve, can you play about four to five different chords? And he'd play them, I said, Keep playing them, and it's so easy to do, you know. Change key, oh yes. Yeah. And then I'd write a song on top of it. Though you've seen that, please don't say a word. Woo. If you're inspired by anything, you want to put it into musical form. The big hit record that we had, 90125, it was our first, I would say, legitimate hit record. An Owner of a Lonely Heart was sort of number one around the world. It was a breakthrough for, especially for Yes. Making music now is the same as making music in the 70s, the 80s. It's the same experience. You just pick up the guitar or sit at the piano and something comes out. We have to share this beautiful planet. We have to share it with a, a humbleness, you know? When I was
was nine years old, the little John Skipper group, I would play the washboard with uh, these little metal finger things, what they call thimbles, from my mother, actually. She would sew, so I borrowed the thimbles. We made a hell of a racket. But we didn't, we didn't do any gigs, but we made a hell of a racket. There was about five of us then singing. Uh, this is early skiffle music from Lonnie Donegan, which actually comes from American folk music. And uh, it was great, it was great fun. The first album that I, I remember getting was uh, with my brother, he bought it. It was Elvis Presley's first album. And we played it all through 1956, all through the summer learned every song. It was just an incredible album. It was, it was on the front of the album with the guitar. Yeah, Elvis. Woo! Most of all, when I was working on the farm with my brother, we would sing Heavenly Brothers songs. This is in the 50s, before anyone was born here. And uh, we love sort of uh, early Elvis Presley, Buddy Holly. And then some great soul music from Little Richard. Oh, it was a great time. The 50s was an amazing time. It was when I was very, I was a teenager, you know. It was a song by Dwayne Eddy called Rebel Rouser. It was a real serious early rock and roll guitar piece. It was just a guitar, uh, it wasn't a song actually, it was just a guitar phrase over and over. It was really amazing. I wish I could play that, Rebel Rouser, man. As soon as Yes started, I knew we had to have some visual side to the band, and, and we found Roger Dean. So we sort of got in touch with him. Steve Howe actually called him up, and he came to the rehearsals of Fragile and recording Fragile. This is what the album might be called. Think of a theme visually. Went to and started doing some paintings. And that's how we started realizing that uh, he would be perfect. And uh, we did a lot of al albums with him and even started getting him and his brother to come on tour and do the stage sets and designs. That's been happening now on and off for 40 years. It's real cool. This is the famous uh, Fragile album, Roger Dean's beautiful artwork and uh, very interesting album, very beautiful and uh, very cosmic. And I actually started uh, dreaming this beautiful ship here. Uh, I started writing a story about that, which became my first solo album three years later. And this is uh, Close to the Edge, Roger doing his beautiful landscapes, which became the stage design for Close to the Edge tour. And uh, Roger, became very important to the band in a visual sense to, to help people sort of say, they'd see a Roger Dean painting and think of yes or vice versa, you know, yes music. This is uh, the Relayer album with the guys, very, very um, Lord of the Rings. And uh, I thought there was a snake here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, that's Roger Dean. 